Okay, so here's an infinite sum example. Okay, we can find the infinite sum because we know that the common ratio is less than, or is between, we'll say between zero and one, right? We need to know, so the formula for this is a sub one over one minus r, some quick calculations here. All we need to know is the first term, and again, the first term, when a geometric sequence is written in this format where the power is n minus one, the first term is this number. Okay, but if you forget that, you can always just take the number one and plug it in here. So we have four times 0 0.6 to the one minus one power, this is zero. So we have four times 0 0.6 to the zero power, anything to the zero power is one, and four times one is four. So this is us calculating the first term. So we know that four is gonna go here. The common ratio is whatever the base of that exponent is, that's 0 0.6. Therefore, our infinite sum is 4 over 1 minus 0 0.6, which is equal to 4 over 0 0.4, which is 4 tenths. 4 divided by 4 tenths is 10. So if we added together every single term of this sequence, we would be approaching a value of 10.